So this is my 0470-50 installation on my 53 Cessna 180. Uh, it uh, originated as a TSI 0520 and through a P-Ponk STC it's uh, turned into the 0470-50. I've got six point EGT CHT fuel flow. Uh, I had my engine mount rebuilt. It's also got a seaplane, turned it into a seaplane mount. When you do the seaplane mount, you run into problems with the heater box here. I moved my shaft forward to accommodate my tube coming through here and also put nut plates on the inside of my flange there, so I screwed this on. So if I ever have to take it off, I just pull the screws off. Some people will move it over, make a spacer, whatever. Uh, starter relay. Uh, you can see my Skytech starter back there. I don't have a remote uh, oil filter yet. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to get that. Anyway, I still have just the screen in. Uh, new exhaust, rebuilt my cow flap levers here, they have a tendency to crack. And uh, this is where the old battery cable came through, I got the battery forward now. Uh, nice new exhaust, new baffling. They do recommend a three-bladed proc, but I got a field approval for this uh, C58 here at 81 inch. Probably nice to have a 91 or something like that, but came with a project. You'll also have to rebuild your carburetor for the P-Punk installation. Remember that as well as your governor here. I made a bracket for my governor cable. You can see it right here comes down off the engine mount and these two jam nuts jam up the uh, prop control and it comes up here and it's held off by a tab which is your standard standard deal battery forward peep uh, that's an Atlee Dodge installation there uh, this alternator is an STC it's an old one comes with these blocks and stuff I built a little and this is my throttle cable right here and it's I had to fabricate my own little bracket it's using part of an original throttle cable bracket welded it to this really nice and solid comes right down to my carburetor real nice here's my EGT CHT I came through my firewall with cannon plugs instead of the usual although with your CHT and EGT you can't cut those wires so they come through also I created a ground on my firewall this stud goes all the way through and picks up on the other side where my ground runs to my panel and uh, my grounding terminal strip uh, I got slick magnetos also I went to uh, a digital tachometer it's analog but it's digital so I got away from my tack cable coming through the firewall. <coughs> All new wires. Also, you don't see my voltage regulator, uh, surge protector, and reverse current relay. I mounted all those inside the cabin. Got them off the firewall here. Really works out pretty nice. It's, uh, it's a tough installation. So I had to modify my bottom cowl because it's a 53. You can see it over there. And I got a big hole in the middle there for my air intake. But uh, it ought to make a really nice, nice engine for this 53. Uh, you can see the P-Ponk. yeah it, it'll be nice it's uh i put a steve's fuel filter in got rid of the glass bowl i had to rebuild my carb air box because it was all goofed up here's my carb heat right 
right here. I had to build a bracket for that. My fuel flow, of course, is right there. I built this too. This is my uh, mixture control. It comes down and around. And I built these tubes to come out and hold it into place. That'll uh, work pretty good. And uh, yeah, a lot of work. All new wires. He's looking pretty good though. Um, also, I came through my firewall here with these swivel joints for my controls. They're pretty nice. Uh, do real well. Here's one for my throttle. I also sealed the edge of my firewall right here. It's all sealed up. Hopefully try to keep the crap from migrating into the into the uh, cabin. And there you go. That's my installation.